Have you encountered any resistance to the living city idea, and if so, how have you handled it? I would say there really has not been a lot of resistance to the idea of a living city. In fact, quite the opposite. Uh, when we did our first reveal event, as we called it, um, we had over 100 people sh uh, show up, which was pretty good for a small city like that. Uh, and I would say that across the board, the enthusiasm for the idea was very, very high. People were really excited about it. They were excited to see the visuals of these familiar places that they knew redesigned as if uh, to be more deeply sustainable. So that was very exciting. But if there was any reaction that was akin to resistance, it was the idea is this is all fine. How would we ever do this? How would we ever pay for it? How would we do one-tenth of the ideas that were presented in our living uh, city design entry? And so that it's more sort of a, a kind of a pragmatic skepticism. Can this really happen? And, uh, and I think that's a very legitimate reaction. Uh, what I can say about that reaction is that there are already a series of initiatives, follow-up initiatives underway in the city of Bend that are attempting to respond to that uh, skeptical question. Uh, the, uh, uh, the local branch of Oregon State University, the Cascades campus of Oregon State University, is going to be involving a series of graduate students in architecture and design in vetting various aspects of the submission we made to see uh, what it would take to accomplish that, whether it's, you know, to retrofit an entire section of the city for solar energy or to incorporate water conservation and collections uh, designs into that and um, so they're hoping to do a, a, a hard look at the numbers for this kind of thing. What would it actually cost uh, to do this? Uh, the city of Bend is relaunching its central area plan which is a planning process focused on the city center and they are taking some of the notions of a living city into account as they analyze and look at the cost of redoing the infrastructure for Central Bend. Uh, for example, alternatives to conventional stormwater uh, drainage and, and treatment. Uh, so uh, those are two things that are happening. The Oregon State University has also launched an initiative um, to visualize what it would be like for them to build uh, a new living campus. Um, they are in the process of uh, considering building a new campus in the city and they so they're uh, entertaining that concept of what would it look like if we went and made a deeply sustainable university University campus and there are other initiatives underway as well too so the response actually has been incredibly positive